Alright kids, take notes. This is a real bad. <laughs> One. I saw that it was a perfect example of action reaction. Now, nothing stirred law. Kids, come on over here. Mr. Laguerre, what just happened? Oh, uh, for our reaction, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Huh? So basically, the ball was exerting a force towards Mr. Laguerre. Then, Mr. Laguerre, using his bat, exerted the force back on the ball, thus resulting in the ball going back where it came from. Oh, I get it. So it's like two cars colliding. Well, exactly! Forces come in pairs, guys! Good job! Alright, let's get into a basic layman's terms here. You know, good old equations. Y'all want to do that? Yeah. Alright. Who knows what force equals? Mass times acceleration. Oh, good job, guys. You know, you're really scaring me. You guys are really scaring me. I know. Okay, so we know that the, the ball here had a mass times acceleration, a force. Alright? And then we're going about, how fast would you guys say this was going? 80 miles an hour. 80? That's so much? Okay. And we all know this was about, how many, how many kilograms? We know? Point. 0.05. You guys know this stuff. That's why I'm asking you. You two ball players. We know this bat. I'm uh, swinging about 80. So how much? How fast? 85. 85. Okay. Okay. So that's what you're saying. About well, 33 or 30 ounces. Uh, mm, about 1.84 kilograms. Does that sound good to you? All right. So we can tell then with that that the bat had a greater force because we multiply the mass and their acceleration. When they hit each other, that had the greater force, which ended up sending this back where it came from. You guys all understand? Yeah, yeah. Alright, good, good. Alright, good job, guys. That'll conclude today's lesson. I'll show off some of my back. Take notes. This is a real bad. One. <laughs> How do you stop it, Chris? Press. 